Well, hello there, my YouTube family, and welcome here to my channel. I decided to go ahead and do a video today. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys the update on my two ISO pads and showing you what I'm going to be feeding them today. So, um, without further ado, let's do it. Okay, I believe these are my wild caught ones. Yeah, definitely the wild caught ones. There's one right there. Their main diet is the leaves, but I do occasionally, at least once a week, feed them other type of stuff as well. And they do like the barrel a lot. So, you probably see it better with the flashlight on, but there is one right there. There's another one right there. There's a whole bunch in here. I don't want it. Don't want oh it's really moist. I don't think I need to give them any water right now. And these are the um what do you call these? Are, are the Lemium isopads, which are my favorite breeds. But yeah, there are those, and I'm about to get ready to feed them here in a minute. And today I'm giving them some of this isopad chow that I got from Wally years some years back. Um it was filled up to the top, and now it's almost gone. It lasts a while. And then I'm also going to give them some fish flakes that I give my fish. And last but not least, they're going to get some peas today because I do give them different stuff. Sometimes I give them apples. Sometimes I give them cucumber. Sometimes I give them pumpkin or pumpkin pear. Today they're getting, they're getting some little peas. So I'm going to go ahead and get those in there. I don't think I need to spray because it's really, it's still really moist in here. Because I usually spray it with water. God, a lot of these guys got to be hiding. Yeah, like I said, a lot of them barrel. I know I got a whole bunch in here. These are the, these are your outside ones. These are the ones I did find outside. <laughs> which are pretty cool. And the other things that are in there with them are springtails, which... Or a good support, which they help really good to keep the pests down. Like the mites and all that, so I don't mind them being in here. But anyways, let me get ready to feed them. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about there first. Yeah, there's a bunch in here, but like I said, they they all like to, they like to hide underground in the daytime. Because most of them, time, they are nocturnal, so they like to be out at night more than they do in the daytime. So we probably won't get to watch these guys eat, but anyhow. And what I usually do, I put the foods on the sides. Then I put them away, and that way I can keep an eye and make sure that they're eating everything and that nothing is going to mold. And I also um, put calcium bone in there because um, they are in a, they are a crustacean, which means they're in the crab family, so they need that um, calcium to keep their shell likes going. But anyways, that is these ones. I'm going to go ahead and show you my second ones, which are my favorite. So hold tight. Okay, these are my favorite right here, which are the zebra isopads. They are doing really good. As you can see where they get their name from, because they got stripes like zebras. And there is one. I got plenty of these in here too. And these are constantly breeding for me, which I'm super stoked about. There's another one right there. Yep, and right there. Got quite a bit in here. Let's see. And there's a lot of them waiting right there for food. And sometimes you can actually catch these guys in action eating. Sometimes I even ha I had them on camera mating. So, yeah, these are I actually I really like these guys. These are so cool. And you can see them do all kind of stuff sometimes. So I'm gonna try to see if we can see a feeding bit. Also, hold on. Okay, I got the food in there. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. I do have one bumblebee millipede in there. Uh, that's the only one that survived, so I decided to put it in here with the zebra isopads, which they've been doing pretty good together, so it looks like this millipede is hungry, too. I got one of him, and the rest are just all the isopads. Because I decided not to just get no more, so I'm just keeping it in here. So, And this one is a survivor, so it's doing super good. And look, like it's going after the food too, so awesome. Well, anyways, guys, I'm not going to 
I ain't going to stay on here too long. I just wanted to do this quick video to show you an update on how my ISO pack critters are doing. Um, they are doing really good. Um, these guys like high humidity. Um, anyways, if you like these type of videos, pets and plants, please be sure to give me the like. Subscribe to the YouTube family if you ain't already. And please hit the notification bell so you get every single video that comes out. Until the next one, may you all have yourselves a blessed day. And may you all stay safe out there. May God bless each and every one of you. Bye.